Hello, hello there, and welcome back to War Thunder. And finally, the French Navy is here in patch 2.25. And I'm glad that I can present to you the first Blue Water Fleet ship from the French Navy. Rank 3, battle rating 4.7, the Dugoy Toa. I hope this is somewhat close to how you pronounce it. And as you can hear with my voice, I probably shouldn't try a second time because my throat is kind of quite sour. Um, so, is the ship worth it? Is the package good? The simple answer is no. It's not a good ship, it's not fun, it's not entertaining, it's not something that you just have to put some skill in and then it will work. It's just a bad premium. And for a horrific expensive price, I think it's 30 euros or dollars, whatever your currency is, Sure, you get 2,000 gold needles for it, but at the end, you still pay roughly 20 bucks just for the ship. And that is absolutely not worth it. Um, why is the ship bad? Basically, it has no armor. It has no firepower. And it has no versatility. It's all about the guns, and they are not really cool. The AA is also probably best described as at decent at short range and by the time you shoot down the aircraft the bombs are already in the air or the torpedoes are already in the water survivability is just given because it's such a oversized looking destroyer it has volume and yeah you can't really ammo rack it at least it really didn't happen to me the position of the ammo is okay, it's below the waterline in a separate compartment, but the rest is just bad. Let's just talk about the armor. You have a spalkhead and deck plating 20 millimeters, and the main belt, if you will, is 14 millimeters, and it's rolled homogenous armor, not anti fragmentation armor. That means some US destroyers have more armor than this light cruiser. And your machinery can get knocked out by normal destroyer HE. Not even from the super fantastic 5 inch 38, but a German, a Soviet, hell, even an Italian destroyer HE. And you lose crew quite quickly if you're under concentrated fire. Then let's talk about the main artillery. We have four twin 155 millimeter turrets and two super firing forward, two super firing aft. And they field quite the interesting ammunition. The HE, 6.16 kilogram, that's quite nice. 51 millimeters of penetration, and they quite deliver the bang. Then we have a base use HE with 2.9 kilograms of TNT and at 5,000 meters 69 millimeters of penetration oh god the comments and then we have the 155 millimeter sap round with 3.67 kilograms of TNT that is mighty but the penetration is really bad at point blank range it's 101 millimeters and at 5,000 meters, it's 80 millimeters. That means you cannot really deal with any sort of angled armor. And you can face hippers or saras. They just look at you and think, hmm, first catch of the day. And that is because the reload and everything associated with it. The 155 millimeter slash 50 model 1920 gun has a fire rate of six, six rounds per minute so 10 second reload for the ready rack and though and those contain 17 rounds and after that it's getting really bad because then you're left with four rounds per minute that is 15 seconds and that is with an a screw on eight 155 millimeter guns. In other words, 
something like the USS Frank Knox can easily pen you everywhere because it has better set rounds in terms of penetration and it has a much higher rate of fire. It can knock out your firepower and eat you alive. And you have no depth charges and no torpedoes and no real meaningful secondaries to speak of. Your 75mm guns are basically worthless. They're not even good as AA guns. And while the array of 40mm and 20mm are nice, by the time you shoot down that aircraft, the bombs are already in the air and the fish is already in the water. Ammunition capacity with a thousand rounds is also not the greatest, but it's okayish. Overall, the Civil Line modifier is the joint highest with 1200% of income with a premium account or 800% income without a premium account. But I don't see myself playing this ship. It's not fun. It's not entertaining. And it takes forever to take down even destroyers, as you can see in this clip. I try my best. And I'm somewhat experienced in naval forces. If this wouldn't be either a tragic version of a bot or a bad player, he probably could eat me alive. A little bit of maneuvering, a little bit of right ammunition choice, and I'd be already dead. And that is a one versus one. You could see at the start how bad you get treated when you get the attention of a few more than, than usual ships. In short, a ship that I do not recommend. Something that I do not see myself using for grinding the future French tech tree. Also, one big difference to the Aigle, which I have not played yet, you can launch the ship only once. Usually, Gaijin gives you a little bit of a... of a bit of an uh, usual, unusual experience that you can launch your premium ship three times when there is no tech tree yet. So you basically have a one ship full lineup. That is not the case with the Dugai Trois. This is possible with the Aigle, Aigle though. And you don't have any sort of patrol boat yet, not even a reserve patrol boat, to contest caps. So not just the ship itself is bad, and you just don't get that many kills and you have no real survivability or threat factor at all. No, everything around it is also not great. Sure, you can stack all the airplanes in it, but you don't get the spawn points for them because you don't kill anything. Yeah, about that. See what I mean? It's just... Not enjoyable. Um, sometimes you get lucky salvos, but don't get fooled by something like this. Because this is, after all, I think a Northampton. They just do that, you know, magazine blowing up, no starving, basically the Moskva maneuver. But it's not a good ship. And that's all that I literally can say today. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed this video, found it informative, and I hope that I could prevent some of your poor souls out there that play naval, all four of you, from buying the ship. Please give this video a like, subscribe, and we'll see each other on the waves of War Thunder.